Hello, my name is Daryl Keel, President of Vacuum Pressing Systems. In this video, I would like to talk about vacuum pumps, their features, how to choose the right one for your shop. Let's start by looking at the two primary functions a vacuum pump performs. First and foremost is how strong a vacuum it pulls, and second is how fast the pump evacuates the air from any given space. The critical and most important function is about how much vacuum a pump can draw, which is rated in what's called inches of mercury. This determines the level of pressure you get in your bag. This gauge shows a rating of 0 to 30 inches of mercury, 30 being perfect vacuum, which really can only be reached in outer space. The question is, how much vacuum do you really need when vacuum pressing in a bag? I generally say 20 inches of mercury or better is what I usually recommend. Our pumps pull up to 27 inches of mercury and shut off at sea level around 25 inches of mercury. Plenty for any pressing project. Now let's look at the second function, which is how fast does the pump pull the air out of the bag. This is rated in what's called CFM, cubic feet per minute. Although CFM is important, it's not as critical as inches of mercury. With these two functions in mind, let's look at three types of vacuum pumps. One is what I call high scientific level vacuum. These pumps pull as close to perfect vacuum as possible, usually rated in microns or tor. This pump is quite expensive, requires oil, tends to have low cubic feet per minute flow, and can actually boil water at room temperature, something you probably don't want to do with your glue. They're great for high-tech applications, but are way overkill for vacuum pressing in a woodworking shop. I don't sell or recommend them. Here's a second type of vacuum pump, a common shop vac. This kind of vacuum pump is designed to draw a lot of air fast, high cubic feet per minute, but not suitable as a vacuum press because of its low inches of mercury, which will not provide enough pressure. The third type is what I call industrial level vacuum pumps, which are used in these vacuum presses. They are rotary vane, rocking piston, air venturi pumps. These pumps generally pull between 25 to 27 inches of mercury in continuous run mode, which is plenty for all woodworking applications. This small hobbyist-oriented pump will do just as good a job as this high-flow industrial pump. They both reach the same level of vacuum pressure. The only real difference between these two or any other of our pumps is how fast the air is removed from the bag and certain features. So the question is, how fast do you really need to pull the air out of a bag? That depends mostly on the glue you will be using. It's all about staying ahead of the glue's tack time more than anything. Having the pump suck the air out super fast is not always a benefit. It's quite useful to have a little time to adjust your work through the bag while the pump is removing the air. Don't be in a hurry to evacuate the air. The other factors are how big will the bag be? The bigger the bag, the longer it takes to draw out the air. And whether it will be used mainly for flat work, or curved work, especially large curved work. Curved work adds to the evacuation time exponentially, depending on the size of the curved form. It's going to take a while for the air to be removed from this form. So let's have a closer look at these five pumps. This is our smallest pump, what we call the Compact 150. It has a rating of 1.5 cubic feet per minute. We suggest it being paired with our two smaller bags a 2x3 or a 4x4 foot bag. Anything done in these bags with the compact with 150 will draw the air out in a reasonable amount of time for most glues. What we don't recommend is pairing this pump with our bigger bags, 4x8 and larger. If you would like to press a full 4x8 panel, then this pump, the compact 300, our 3 cubic feet per minute pump, would do the job nicely easily handles whatever flat panels you would press 
in a bag of this size, and smaller size curved work. If you're thinking you want to press the capacity of our 5 foot by 10 foot or 5 foot by 12 foot bags, or doing larger curved work, then I would step up to our professional line. This professional vacuum press, our most popular unit, is a 6 cubic feet per minute pump or the total air six cubic feet per minute pump. Can be paired with any of our bags, easily handle a variety of curved work, and run up to three bags at once with the addition of our manifold adapter. Our largest and fastest unit is the high flow industrial, 10 cubic feet per minute pump. Easily handles any size bag, runs up to three bags at once with the addition of a manifold and is ideal for extra large curved work or any project that has a high volume of air to remove from the bag. You're not going to outgrow this unit, no matter what you decide to press. This should cover choosing a pump with cubic feet per minute in mind. Now let's look at pump features. I have separated these pumps into two categories, what I call our hobbyist line and our professional line. These two pumps, the Compact 150 and the Compact 300, are ideal for a hobbyist woodworker or anyone vacuum pressing occasionally or on a semi-regular basis. These pumps are auto self-cycling with adjustable vacuum switch allowing the vacuum level to be set at any pressure. The two-way power switch allows the pump to run in continuous mode for vacuum clamping or auto cycling mode for pressing in a vacuum. The vacuum gauge allows the user to monitor the vacuum level. These pumps have a 10-foot reinforced vacuum hose with a quick disconnect and cleanable filter jar, which keeps chips and dust from entering the pump. These pumps are very quiet. Let me turn this one on, quieter than an average electric drill. If your shop should be attached to your home, either one would be fine operating overnight without disturbing anyone. These three pumps make up our professional line. These two, the Pro and the High Flow Vacuum Press, feature state-of-the-art digital controls to monitor the vacuum level. Where the pump shuts off and where it comes back on can be adjusted independently of each other with repeatable accuracy. The digital readout tells you exactly the vacuum level being generated and maintained. Red means vacuum is being generated. Green means vacuum is now being maintained, waiting for the pump to run when the turn on set point is reached. These pumps also have the two-way power switch, continuous run, and auto cycle. This steel coiled reinforced vacuum hose stays quite flexible while never overlizing under vacuum pressure. This chrome plated brass quick disconnect locks into these large cleanable filter jars on the back of the pump. This pump, the total air vacuum press, is unlike our other pumps as it has no electric motor generating vacuum, but instead utilizes a Venturi type pump run by compressed air. This pump works just as well as our electric units, but we do strongly recommend a compressor that includes what I call an air dryer. Air dryers are superior to the oil and water traps found on most compressors and will guarantee the total air vacuum press will operate trouble free. The auto cycle and continuous run features of this pump is completely controlled by compressed air so no electricity is needed to operate this unit. Let's go ahead and set up a system, show you how the pump and the bag connect and press a panel. I have this 4x4 bag rolled out on this workbench here. This is the entrance nipple for the air evacuation overhanging the edge of the bench. Here is the MDF platen board that you make with shallow grooves for efficient air evacuation. This platen sleeve which is provided with the pump aligns with the nipple on the bag. With the platen in the bag I will connect the hose by sliding this brass fitting up through the nipple on the bag and into the platen sleeve, locking the bag and the platen together. The panel is in the bag. I'll put closure on for an airtight seal. 
I'm using the 6 CFM professional pump for this demonstration. Turn it on in auto cycling mode and watch the bag be evacuated. Once the air is removed from the bag, the vacuum level will climb and automatically shut off. When the turn on point is reached, the pump will cycle back on and shut off, maintaining vacuum in the desired range. Well, this completes the demonstration on our pumps and their features. I hope this video gives you the information you need to choose the pump that's right for you and your shop. Please don't hesitate to call us anytime. We are happy to talk with you and assist you in choosing your vacuum press system.